Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pinky. This is Destiny. I'm never trying that ever again. That was awful. I apologize. Hey guys, Pinky here, and welcome back to Destiny, where we are going to do something slightly different. We've only got one more planet left to go, but I realize I've been neglecting all the strikes. So, as you're going to see from the title of the episode, being it's not a regular one, this is going to be the second strike, the one on the moon. In which case we have to fight a giant ogre thing. Usually a pain in the ass, but we are six levels over what you need to be. So this should be a fairly straightforward task. Chance to get a bit more experience and reduce our chance of dying when we start Mars off. Uh, we have uh, two strikes on Venus to do. So whether I do those today or whatnot, I'm doing this on my own. That's not good. Strikes become instantly harder when you have to do them by yourself. Something dark stirs in the depths of the Hellmouth. Oh, you crap. Can feel it. Well, if this is anything to go by, this ought to be fun. Evil. Now, I thought this would be a nice and must simple walkthrough at our level. And destroy this creature. However, on Before my own, it's it not all. going to be simple. I don't think I used... I had this assault rifle when I last played. What was it? What's the last mission I did? King the Gate Lord. I can't remember. Either way, time to take on the Hive Army by myself. So the trick here is quite literally. Hang on, we might have a problem. Uh, I'm not. Is there any allies around? Any other players? then I am not strong enough to take that on. That's a rocket. I was about to say, the trick here is to get as many rockets as possible. As much heavy ammo as you can to uh, get to the last boss. Because the boss is a pain in the ass. Do I want there's to be no using the fusion rifle? I guess there's no real reason not to. I don't have a strong solar weapon. My shotgun's solar, but it's not a strong weapon. So, I will see how it goes. All 12 thralls are no problem. Here's where we're going to find out. It would be nice if I had someone join midway through. This is a lifeline. Kill you. Not doing great on ammo. Kill you. It's all going swimmingly so far. Now for the bit that's going to be a total bitch. We need to get through. I'll try to open that gate. This could be awful. I can see off waves of enemies while Dinklebot does his thing. I'll load this just in case it's required. I know we're here. I'll get to work. Okay. That's a bounty. That's to kill 20 enemies without them damaging you. Not in a row, but it's just 
Regular. See, I think I mentioned it before, but for the exotic thorn, I am aware I'm the last guardian standing, I'm the only guardian here. Unless someone's. No, someone's joined in! Two people have joined in! That's perfect. Guys, 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 get in here, please. I have a bounty right now, which is complete a strike about death. So, now there's three of us. Crisis averted, we should be able to do this. I was half tempted to. Like you wouldn't. No, because if I did do it, this video wouldn't be going. I half tempted to, to save this for another time when there's actually players. Now there's people joined in. Let's do this. And I still can't aim. That guy literally supered a single acolyte. Or acolyte. Alright, last wave. Bring it on. Fast roll. It's nice for some wave control. Can't control even. Oh, two sort of orders. And there's the guy. Oh, oh it's a freaking ultra. And that should be that. Next stage, Got please, it. Dinkle Bob. Well, that went smoother than I thought it would. This is actually one of the shorter strikes as well, if you know what you're doing. So... Now we just got to get through... One thing I don't quite understand, uh, slightly off later, those are uh, cursed rule. If they have a yellow health bar, they don't actually count as a major or an ultra. Still regular, they're just slightly tougher. There's a rocket there. Silken Codex, good. So what we got? We got a warlock. And we got a Titan helping us out here. So dub two warlocks, one Titan. He's a striker, he's Sounds the like same, he's a void walker, I'm a void walker. So we're all heavy damage. I wouldn't expect a level uh, 18 or a 19. Where is he? Level 18 Titan to pick up Defender just yet. I play a Defender because I, I'm a work as a support. Alright, if they know what they're doing, they know to come this direction rather than to the right. Because that's just not it. So, in less than 10 minutes. This is looking good. That's uh, again an odd use of your super there. I like to get like extreme value out of mine, which is why I never use mine unless I'm going to die. Oh, another freaking action cover. That's the helmet. 
Oh. Definitely take that. Oh, there's, there's two uh, majors blocking the way here. These guys, I've got a feeling, are literally here to stop people coming in regular missions. They are tanky as balls. In fact, do that. That's a suitable use of a super, I think. Could you generate orbs of light? He, I got some back because the other guy used his. All right, we're through to him. I'm gonna kill this guy. Well, at least it's chained up. All right, first things first. Clear the fracking room. Also, actually, while I'm here, time to get. The last gold chest on Mars, on the moon even, Mars, on the moon. There it is. Tengu Opera, is that actually any good? I mean, it's a blue. I'm going to very much doubt it's useful though at this point. No, not useful at all. It's a shame. If you do enough damage to Fogoth, is it Fogoth? Then he breaks his chains and comes after you. But two rockets. Nice. The spawn room. Oh, I say the spawn room. You do spawn in there if you die. But that room is no way a safe spot. Because a shrieker spawns in the there if you camp. So you kind of have to just keep moving around this room. We've taken a fair chunk of health from it. I've got to feel it's because of the level difference. So this shouldn't be a problem at all. We're getting a look. Oh yeah, this is going well. Rifles can't crit. So there's no point aiming for a bomb or something. The crit spot on this boss is his chest. I've got a feeling I'm going to be surrounded by shit in a second. I could just keep rushing this guy down. Very high chance we'll miss something like an Ingram, in which case we'll end up with it at the Postmaster. My best chance today of a strike without death is about how to redo the third one. Oh god. Die, 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 die. Please. Oh, I'm low health. My recovery isn't great. This should be fine. Oh, a rocket would be nice. the most professional performance I think I've had, ever.
I'm close enough for him to start ground pounding. Even though I'm bothered, so. That's not that spot. I will back off though, I don't want to die. And we nearly got him! Got him! Finally, the abomination has been destroyed. The vanguard will be grateful. That is a quick strike. A creature of the dark has been slain, and our world spared another atrocity. I am very but happy with how that went. I have abominations are still active. Yes, please, we damage boost. I fear we may find out all too soon. I will take that. I will upgrade you. I got a weapon that's useful. I got a double jump. We did well. We did really well. Two bounties accomplished. Unfortunately, the gauntlets are total walls. But that's what we get for doing something that's beneath us in level. Oh, those would have been gauntlets to go with that chest piece, I think. But you do get resources out of them, which is nice. Pulse Life Loader doesn't make a difference to us. Pulse Rifle Ammo doesn't... Do you reckon we should be using a Pulse Rifle, guys? We just got one. Oh, uh, it's got a shitty perk, but it's the same one as this weapon here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to equip that to take advantage of the buffs that we have. Pulse Rifle, Pulse Rifle. Uh, and then... Go back to hand in the two bounties. I feel that went extremely well. That is an expert strike. And shut up. And I was overleveled, but shut up. I did like the first three minutes on my own. <laughs> <sighs> so, how's the wife? These loading screens are ridiculous. Um, so, with how successful that went, should I do the two Venus ones now? I'm guessing I should. Yeah, we're going to dust off Venus with the two strikes, and then once those two are done, Mars begins. So I'm just going to hand this stuff in, sort out any stuff here. I was about to say, I didn't get an engram, but it's um, the codexes. Let's see what we have now. Intriguing. Got the codex, I only got the one. Actually, 200 glimmer is lovely. And, uh. I'll do that. You're now fully leveled. And you are now leveled. So back to Sniper. We are looking pretty damn good. I would say. So after that amazingness, I will see you guys next time. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And have a nice day, guys. See you later. Pinky, out.